What's going on, family? Today, I'd like to talk to you about Jasmine. I want to have an honest discussion uh, with you guys about Jasmine because I know there are plenty of people, myself included, who either have invested in Jasmine or are looking at Jasmine. And, um, and I'm still struggling to know, uh, to be honest with you, what, you know, what Jasmine does and, and how it's able to go back to its all time highs. And uh, I found this video. So interestingly, there are two websites. There's the, there's the English website and there's the Japanese website. And the Japanese website kind of runs through uh, Jasmine a little bit more uh, differently. But as you can see on this video, it's basically um, connecting personal data with devices, i.e., you, you know, kind of covering the Internet of Things. And um, you can see here, as they illustrate, basically with Jasmine, your life is made easy. So data will, uh, will be accessible, will be secure. Um, you know, anything from restaurant bookings to, to train services to, you know, just running your entire day through the Internet of Things, uh, from the device to the storage to the cloud. So basically, that's what Jasmine does. Um, and it's kind of like uh, sold to enterprise level um, companies because they have some Japanese partnerships. Um, and there you go, you know, it's kind of saying through Jasmine, you can, you can basically run your life a lot more smoother. You can have your data, uh, your data will be um, a lot more secure. So the, the main, you know, it was interesting to see, not, not, not too many people have kind of covered the Japanese side of Jasmine, um, you know, the consumer side of it, the enterprise side of it. And uh, it was just kind of interesting being a position that I heavily hold. Um, and to be honest, when I, when I bought into this position, it was more about not the hype as such. Yes, of course, some of my favorite influencers were talking about it, but it was more to do with the fact that uh, the coin actually initially was, you know, what was it? It, you know, it, it came out at $4 and then it went, it tanked basically. And you can see here, you know, ever since it's been really flat at this level. Now, do I think it's going to go back to its all time highs of, you know, four, four plus dollars? What was it? Four, five dollars, nearly five dollars. I don't think so. Uh, a lot of the investors and, and kind of uh, people that I speak to on a daily basis kind of want this to go to about a dollar or even 50 cent. Now, if you was to buy, um, you know, let's say, maybe we should look at a million tokens. Um, oh, sorry, there you go. Uh, that's under thousand. So a million tokens today would set you back at two, three, should be about yeah so about four and a half grand um and um you know i hold half of that if it gets to 50 cent great uh if it gets to 10 cents you know what i did yesterday was if you look at my uh on my previous video i had this veracity um dca strategy and this is exactly more or less the same thing that i'll be doing with jasmine taking profit at uh, various different levels um, so we will be doing that however if you look at the charts let's have a look at this this has been on an upward trend as you can see on the uh, on the daily charts is it good time to buy now I'd wait for this to cool off a little bit uh, you can see here it's been overbought um, RSI score of 95 so yeah, definitely something that that's worth accumulating. Um, however, you have to be cautious, guys. Look, Jasmine is one of these positions that I've, I've kind of invested into with the view that if I lose any investment there, I would not I would not really care as much because I know the risk that I'm taking. And, uh, you know, one of my kind of favorite YouTubers, uh, Crypto John, was saying that 
he sees the suppression in this in this particular chart as a um, as a good thing, and I tend to agree with him to be honest. So, uh, is it a good investment? Is it risky? Hundred percent. Every every crypto is risky, with the exception of maybe Bitcoin and a little bit less Ethereum. Uh, do I see Jasmine making me profits? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think if we go into the bull run with with a momentum, but guys just always dampen your expectation you know go in there with the view of having kind of like a, I would probably say you know an attitude where you're willing to if you don't understand the project because look I've, I've been reading into Jasmine the whole morning um, and and to be honest with you I mean you know some people are rated it as bullish you know news is coming out of different articles well, I, I don't trust that. Uh, the only thing I trust is my own analysis. I mean, their Twitter is not really, I mean, look, you know, last post here, a retweet on the 21st of June. You know, it's been a few days since they've retweeted anything there, 20th of June. Today is uh, obviously uh, a week later. So they could be more active. Having said that, the, the power of the Japanese should not be underestimated. Uh, specifically, I mean, when you look at this, you know, not too many people from the West have gone over to, to the jasmine.jp website. Not that it, it brings any, uh, anything that jumps out, but for me, it's just to see how this project that we, we're all, we all love and invested into, um, how, how, you know, how it works and how it's doing. So the white paper, I'm not going to bore you to, to death with it. Um, but you know, you can see here, uh, you know, it's quite extensive and, um, and it goes through, you know, you can read this in your own time, but guys, look, you know, just to kind of summarize Jasmine, I think Jasmine is a fantastic opportunity because of the below dollar psychological investment effect. Uh, I was able to accrue, you know, half a million of tokens uh dca and into constantly i buy jasmine every single month and i will continue to do that as long as the charts kind of support my my reasoning for doing it but i think at a certain point at, at about a million tokens i will completely um uh, kind of stop and and just ride it see what happens have a dca strategy we definitely will make money from jasmine however um don't you know don't go in there with the jasmine to one dollar mentality you know don't don't go in there with with these hollywood numbers that that set us up for you know in the crypto space you know if you've been here for a few years you would know uh people start dreaming in crypto way too early and and the night it happens you know when you wake up one morning and all you see is green candles and you're like man what do i do with it then that's when the greed comes in because most people will then say i oh you know i'm gonna ride this to a dollar no 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 you know if you've got a million tokens get rid of uh you know get rid of them in different stages you know what are you willing to take at 10 cent you know we're talking about a coin that's at 40 percent of a penny right now so what are you willing to take at 10 25 50 cent and then anything that you have is your moon back to the to the dollar. Uh, but by the time you make, you know, I don't know, fifty thousand dollars, a hundred thousand, whatever your your investment aim is with Jasmine, by the time you make that, I think you would be in a in a good, pretty good uh, financial space. Um, but guys, look, no one understands Jasmine. I'll be honest with you. You know, yeah, it does the Internet of Things. Oh yeah, some people will say, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to moon. These are very simplistic um, views that actually sometimes it's healthy to look at things in a simplistic way. Uh, you know, I've spent hours trying to research in a position that I held for the last almost eight months. And I, I was just buying it off the back of um, my favorite influencers talking about it. But you know, having done that research, I'm no clear today as to the, the amount of tokens that will be used to push the price up and the sell pressure. But what I would say is if it does go to 25 cents, you know, 
trust me, I'm taking, I'm taking profit. If it goes to 50 cents, then I'm probably selling large amounts of my bag. If it goes to a dollar, I'll keep a little bit behind because that would, also, uh, that would also be welcome. But I'm hoping by the time we make, and I say we collectively, not financial advice, by the time we make enough money off this position, man, we'd be in a position to say, okay, guess what? Whatever happens to the rest of that, I don't really care for it. Um, and this is something we need to fight. You know, Our love for specific projects shouldn't taint our ability to make money. We're here to make money. I don't think anyone's here to... Um, to just hold something. I know a lot of us ride a, ride a token all the way up and then all the way down and then into the next bear market, but I'm not looking to do that. Uh, by the next bull market, I wanna, I wanna sell as many things as I can leading up to the top and, 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 and possibly initial down, down phase and not, not holding for another spike. Anyway, like the video guys, subscribe, and uh, let me know if you're holding Jasmine. If you're holding Jasmine, you know, how many tokens are you holding? What are your predictions? And are you of the same mind as me? Or do you have a different, even more bullish um, uh, outlook on Jasmine? Take care of each other, guys. See you on the next one.